we're going to consider the circuit shown in the figure that we have here. A string or three diodes connected in series is used to provide a constant voltage of about 2.1 volts. And we get 2.1 volts because each of these diodes are going to be 0.7 volts. And since we have three of them, 3 times 7 gives us a 2.7 here. We want to calculate the percentage change in the regulated voltage caused by a 10% change in the power supply. This is where the plus minus one volt comes from and connection of the one kilo ohm load resistance. And the load resistance is right here. So looking at this with no load, no load right here, uh, this is open. We're not gonna look at anything on this side yet. The nominal value of the current. So the first thing we're gonna look for is current. If we want to calculate the percentage change in the regulated voltage, um, we're going to look at the uh, change of the resistance of the diode and to do that we have to get the current. So that's how we get the current first. So first step is solve for current. I is equal to, we have 10 volts right here and we have on this side through these diodes a sum of 2.1 volts, right? So we have 10 minus 2.1 and this is all happening over the 1 kilo ohm resistor and so this is going to give us the 7.9 milliamps and that is the calculation for this part down here. Now, each diode will have an incremental resistance like this. So our RD is equal to our VT divided by our I, which is current, that's just Ohm's law. So our voltage here is going to be the 25. And in some cases, this is gonna be written as 26. The author of the book flip flops between the two, but VT is equal to, I believe it's like KQ over T, something like that. And we can write this as 26 millivolts or here we have it as 25 millivolts so that's just important to note we have 25 millivolts over 7.9 milliamps this is just going to give us 3.2 ohms the three diodes in the series will have a total incremental resistance of 9.6 ohms the reason why it's 9.6 ohms is because well rd is for one diode right since these are in series we have the voltage over current that just gives us the resistance for one of these we have one right here. Now to find three of them, because we do have one, two, three, we're just going to multiply this by three. So our resistance across here, remember each of these single ones are RD, the resistor of the diode. And since we have the three in series, this is just going to be our total R across it. And that's equal to 9.6 ohms. This resistance along with the resistance R, so the top R here, and we can highlight that just so we remember what it is, forms a voltage divider. These ratios can be used to calculate the change in output voltage due to a plus 10%, which is the plus minus one volt change in our supply voltage. And with the voltage division, we can rewrite this as, well, we have some power supply right here. Uh, it's gonna be a 10 plus minus one volt. It's gonna go, we have some resistor right here. We'll just do one kilo ohm, which is the resistor that we have up top. Uh, we have our node here, and then we have our diodes across here. So we have one diode, we have a second diode, we have a third diode, then it goes into ground. And so there's going to be some voltage across here. And now if we rewrite this entire section right here, like this, we can see it very much looks like our voltage division. So to find the voltage division across this, what we're going to do is, well, and I'll also highlight this side. All of this is gonna go into here. Um, to find the voltage division across this, we are going to look at the voltage for this part right here and the voltage for this part right here, right? Because we know that voltage division, we have our voltage output, which is gonna be this voltage in this case. Voltage output is equal to our source voltage. Now we can see that we're not using 10 volts. We're using two right here. Here we have 10 though. And the reason why we're doing that is because of this right here. We want to find the peak to peak. And if we were to graph this and we were to start at 10 volts, right? Then if we have a change of one volt, we have 11 volts here, we have nine volts here. So the difference is gonna be from here to here, peak to peak wise. And we would have like a sine wave or something like that. And so this is going to be two, right? The voltage is going to be two. This is two volts. And then we have our voltage division. So the resistance that this is over, we know that we have resistors across here. 
And we just found this previously to be our 9.6 ohms. It's the resistors of all the diodes since they're in series. So it's going to be 9.6 ohms. We have 9.6 ohms plus our one kilo ohm resistor, right? And I believe that this is going to give us the same answer as how we have right here. Uh, we just rearranged some of the units, but it's still going to give us 19 millivolts peak to peak. So we can write that right here. And the peak to peak is what we want to find, the change of our output. Because remember, the actual question right here is asking us to find a plus minus 10% change in the power supply voltage. This is why we are going to look at what we have here. And we'll just um, point an arrow to it because it's a little bit big. And this is why we are going to write that we want to look at the peak to peak change here and why we, we use this two right here. So all of that kind of ties in together. It's very specific for this problem. That is corresponding to the plus one volt. It's 10% change in the supply voltage. The output voltage will change by 9.5 millivolts or plus minus 0.5%. And since this implies a change of about 3.2 plus minus millivolts per diode, our use of the small signal is justified. So we have a small signal here. Now, when a load resistance of one kilo ohms is connected across the diode string, it draws a current of approximately 2.1 milliamps. 2.1 milliamps is what we found to be right here. Thus, the current in the diodes decreases by 2.1 milliamps when a load resistance of one kilo ohms is connected across our diode string. This results in a decrease in voltage across the diode string and this is given by this. So if we connect our one kilo ohm resistance, load resistance right here, we are going to be looking at this part of the problem. It's going to result in a decrease in voltage across the diode string. And so we have this equation, the change in voltage output. The change in voltage output, which is going to be the voltage across here, because that is what it is tied to, is going to be equal to, um, we lost 2.1 uh, milliamps of current, so we're going to multiply that by the resistance. So we have a negative 2.1 times the resistance of our entire diode because if we refresh ourselves, this R right here is our 9.6, and our 9.6 we found to be here, which is the uh, resistance across the three diodes, right? Because it says when a load resistance of one kilo ohm is connected across our diode string, the current drawn it's approximately 2.1 milliamps. And since the current drawn is 2.1, the current in our diodes will decrease. We lose current if the current is drawn. And that's resulting in a decrease. And since it's a decrease, and we can even underline this, we have a decrease, and then we have a negative right here. So negative 2.1 times 9.6 is going to give us a negative 20 milliamps. I would say that this part is m probably one of the conceptually hardest to understand. The rest you're kind of just following steps right here. Since this implies that the voltage across each diode decreases by about 6.7 millivolts, our use of the small signal model is not entirely justified. Nevertheless, a detailed calculation of the voltage change using the exponential model results in V out the change in voltage output is equal to negative 23 millivolts. It's not too different from our approximate value, which is obtained using our incremental model. And so we're okay here. And that is how we would solve for this problem.